So your full name is Aubrey Drake Graham, but mm -hmm. we all know you as Drake. Right. I'm just wondering if you maybe want to choose a name that's a little more like hip hop, rap, you know, like um, like Graham Cracker, you know, maybe. That's probably a bad idea. My name's Janessa Slater, and I'm a media coach who's helped hundreds of fans. This is Sound Advice. What about uh, Drake time, like break time? You know, like, y'all know what time it is? It's Drake time. So everybody get ready to Drake dance to this Drake beat. Money, money, diamond rings. Drake time. Who you see in the neighborhood? Like, I'm going to go in front of 17,000 people at, like, Barclays Center and be like, it's Drake time. Everybody say it. Can you say it how I said it? It's Drake time. Everybody, Drake dance, money, money, money. money, money. Am I like pointing at people and calling them money? There would be piles of money. So I'm wondering, have you ever considered J date? Probably not a good idea for me. I'm more of like a private person, and I don't really have like trouble with. Those. Okay, because my cousin Amy met her husband on J date. Oh. And I could like call her and get some like good tips for you on like setting up a great profile page. You know, because you don't want people to just see the photo, you know, and go, oh, look, hot black Jewish guy, but, you know, is he stable? Does he make a good living? Would he be a good father? You know, you don't. Is this like your version of like some 60 year old, like Jewish lady, like perusing through my page? Or well, something? it's probably, she's probably like 32 ish, but her mom might be 60. So I see that you've made a lot of mixtapes. Yes. Um, is that a popular trend in hip hop? Uh, yeah, for the most part. I mean, I think. Oh, can you hold on one second? It's um, hello. It's 1994 calling. They want their technology back. <laughs> oh, I get it. That's... No, no, no. I actually have to take this. Yeah. Um, I think like TLC, probably. Totally, totally. Flare-legged pants. Right. That's what we should all wear. Definitely. I... I get, uh -huh. the, I get the joke. I know, I seriously can't believe that about Millie Vanilli either. So in your song, Started From The Bottom, you say, started from the bottom, now my whole team here. Did you really bring your whole team? Uh, for the most part, I mean, I... You just don't want those people to hear, oh, the whole team's there, I better get over there, you know, let me put on my best vest and, you know, grab some, you know, um, I don't know, chips and dip and head over to Drake's place and just join the team. It takes a bit more than just, like, like a bag of ruffles and like some dip to sort of get like in to my life. Well, you and I have very different lives then. Look, I know you're on the rise. You're gonna wake up one day maybe and you're gonna be this big star with like a million Twitter followers, you know? I have like 14 million, so I, I don't know if I'm that okay, far Okay, you have 14 million Twitter followers. Yeah, and you made up YOLO, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, what does it stand for? You, our, lying, always. That doesn't even make any sense because the, neither of those words start with O. I'm, pr I'm actually pronouncing it a different way. Yeah, but it doesn't. It's still they still start with a different letter, so that changes everything. Sorry, I forgot I was in an English lesson right now. You principal, you know, Jeffries. Who is Principal Jeffries? I don't know, it's like a principal who's very strict and weird about words. This is like you're, you're talking about a guy that uh, literally does not exist. You're talking about like his oh, curriculum. A guy that doesn't exist, like the one that created YOLO. <laughs> this has been exhausting. Please, you know.